Okay, so today what I want to do with you is to show you how to change a part of an image, the colour on part of an image. So we're going to use a few different selection tools and we're also going to then um, change the colour of the area that we've selected on a photograph, okay? So the example that we're going to use today is the example of a lady with a, a dress and I'm going to change the colour of the dress and you can see that Photoshop has a very nice tool to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is in Photoshop, we're going to open up a photograph of a lady um, in a dress. So if I just go to File and Open, and the photograph we're going to open is called Dress. So I'll just open it up. And you can see this is just a picture of a lady in a blue dress. Now what we would like to do is to use the tools that I've mentioned in order to change the colour of this dress. Okay, so the first thing we do is we choose the magic wand tool. Okay, just check beforehand that it's not on the quick selection tool because the two tools are located together. Okay, so you ensure that you have your magic wand tool selected. Now on this dress, you can see that it's mainly blue, but there's quite dark shades of blue in the folds of the dress. So we might not get it in one go. Plus, we probably need to change the tolerance um, I'm going to use a tolerance here of about 60 in order to pick up more blue colours. So what we're going to do is just click on the dress and you can see that we've got running ants around most of the dress but there's certain parts of it that haven't been selected yet. So if I hold down shift on the keyboard and then click on the other parts of the dress you can see it's adding these parts to the selection. So we go up to the image menu, go down to adjustments, and we're going to go down to the hue slash saturation. The slider at the, at the top, the hue, will allow us to change the actual color of the dress. So you can see we can go from browns into greens, into kind of cyan colors, into purples, our pinks, and finally our reds.